So in this video, we're going to learn two more things about Git and GitHub. We're first going to learn how to push additional changes from our project up to, up to GitHub so that we can add different commits as well as track our project over time. The second thing we'll learn how to do is to download code from projects that are currently hosted on GitHub. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to make a new file. So I'm going to be inside of my git test project. I can go to file, new file. And it doesn't really matter what we add here, but we can just add cc test. And I'm going to make this a subclass of NS object. And I'm going to press create. And I'm going to open up terminal. So I already have it in my doc here. And I'm going to navigate to the git test project folder. So I can do ls. I can cd into desktop ls again and we'll cd into test git ios project and we can do ls and we see that in my git test project here i have a bunch of folders so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go and stage my new folder to be added to my repository so i'm going to do git add period and once i do that now it's ready to be staged and i can check that it's staged so i do typing in git status so now we can see that the cctest.h and the cctest.m files are ready to be added to our project or our repository. So we can go ahead and type in git commit to actually add these files to our repository. And we'll say added uh, test class. And we can press enter. And now we see that these files have been changed and we've made 75 changes. So now we can go ahead and push this up to our our uh, remote repository by typing git push and we have to tell it what branch we're currently on so we'll say origin master because we're always going to be working on the master branch for now and we press enter and we'll have to enter our user credentials in one more time now we can confirm that these files were properly added to our uh, github repository by going back to github and refreshing our current project and I'm going to go to git tests and I'm going to see that my CC test class now exists here inside of my GitHub repository. Final thing I want to show you is how to download a project from GitHub and to open up that project. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of my current Xcode project as well as terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to GitHub. And I've already opened up the funky unit converter project. So on the lower right hand corner here, we have something that says subversion checkout URL. So I can go ahead and copy this whole URL. You can also press download zip and it will create a zip file in your downloads file. You can extract it and it'll, it'll create a directory the same way we'll do using the git clone command. So I'm going to copy my subversion checkout URL and I'm going to go back and I'm going to open up terminal and I want to download this onto my desktop. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop. So CD desktop. And I'm going to type in the git command git clone and I'm going to add my URL after. I can press return and we'll say cloning into funky unit converter and now we see that we have the funky unit converter directory on my desktop. So I can go ahead and open this up and the file that you're going to want to open is funkyunitconverter.xcode project. And with this open now I can see my funky unit converter and I go ahead and open up my project and open up the funky unit uh, converter folder and we can see my ccviewcontroller.m and this is a great way as you're going through and if you have questions about how an application got built feel free to download the uh, applications and take a look at our code we have lots of comments in here to help you along as you're figuring out how to make these projects work